From the Black Hills in the west to the rolling prairies in the east, South Dakota is home to many beautiful landscapes. And to South Dakota's tribes, some of that land is sacred. That's why the tribes are working with the Department of Agriculture and Intertribal Agriculture Council. As Kelloland Sydney Thorson reports, they are hoping to reduce soil erosion, enhance wildlife habitat, and improve the grasslands. While the South Dakota reservations are filled with beautiful landscapes, it's important that they are preserved. We have a lot of land that's probably been overused in, in, for, for years. That's why today officials from Farm Service Agency, Natural Resource Conservation Service and the Intertribal Agriculture Council are here. This um, historic agreement is a way for us to extend support and really build from our shared commitment to conservation and stewardship of the land and water that we all depend on. There are also representatives from the Oglala Sioux Tribe, Cheyenne River Sioux Tribe, and Chairman Scott Herman with the Rosebud Sioux Tribe. Uh, we're always talking about climate control and, and, and uh, preserving the land base and, and making sure that everybody's taking care of the land like they're supposed to. I think it's going to make a lot of people and the operators a little bit easier about about taking care of the land and doing their part. So Now that the tribes had the opportunity to enroll into the Conservation Reserve Enhancement Program, their sacred land could see improvements in the future. Which will really facilitate opening up some of USDA's conservation programs to um, both tribal lands and land owned by tribal members. In Rapid City, Sydney Thorson, Kelloland News. Sign up for the Conservation Reserve Enhancement Program will start in the next few weeks for tribal lands. The event today was hosted at Western Dakota Technical Institute. Well,